So, you want to make a waving and you want to make a text. Why don't you just sit down and wave at some text? Hey guys and boys, bro, guys and bo guys and boys, that's the same thing. Uh, hello boys and girls, how you how you doing? This whole intro is just messed up now, guys. I got to tell you. Welcome all back to Blin 2.8. Once again, we're taking a look at uh, at some at some waving text. Let's just get into it. I'm I've already messed it up, guys. I've already messed it up. All right. So, I hit delete on default cube. I'm sorry. I'm going to hit B to drag a box over everything. Just delete everything because I don't need none of that. Yeah, of course, if you're going to be rendering things, you're going to need a camera. So, yeah. But uh, keep that in mind. But just for today's tutorial, I don't need a camera. So, I'm going to shift A and add in a text object here. And uh, use the minimize button to pan around my scene here. I'm going to hit RX90 on my numpad and left click to confirm that movement. Then I'm going to type in, I'm going to hit tab and then type in any text that I want. So, like, you could type in uh, touch by Kai. You know, I'd be very grateful. Um, <laughs> or you could just type in, you know, leave it as text, which I'm going to do just because it's shorter and it works a little better um, for today's tutorial. So I'm going to go to the text tab here and open up font and hit this little folder icon to, to uh, import our font. And once you found your font folder, you can go up up to the top here and uh, hit this little this little button to, to make sure you can see them all. I'm going to choose BP Imperial and hit open on that. Uh, now we can go up to geometry and change the extrude value up a little bit to 0.20, like that. Cool, now we're all ready to go. Now, uh, continuing forward, we're going to go ahead and downsize the bevel and the font because we don't need that anymore in the paragraph and all that yada yada nonsense. Now, what we need to do is we need to separate all of these because I want them to move individually. So I'll go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode and hit delete on all the letters except for one of them. Hit 1 on my numpad to go into the front-facing view. And then I'm going to hit uh, Shift-D and then GX to move this bad boy over. And then hit Tab, Delete, and then the next letter. So that's E in my case. Um, yeah, so if you're making like Alfredo, you would do like A and then L, you know. So, yeah, I don't know where I just got that word from, but whatever. Um, <laughs> hit Shift-D, uh, GX, and then move it on over. Hit Tab to go into edit mode, Delete, and then hit X, which is nice. GX, move it over a little bit, and then the same thing. And you don't want to go, you don't want to grab this letter and then just hit Shift D and move it over here, just because it's it's the same letter because it's going to be out of order when you do it later. Just trust me. You're just going to going to want to ahead and do it over again. So Shift D, GX, uh, Tab, uh, Delete, and then T. Cool. Um, now, my friends, we're going to go ahead and hit, hold down Shift and select all these letters now. Uh, and then hit GX to move this over kind of in the center of the world here, which is nice. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the Material tab. Hit this little box. Uh, open up the Material. And then hit Control l with our cursor inside of our viewport here. Control l And then go to Materials. So now all of these materials are the same. So if we change one of them, they change all. So I'm going to go to uh, uh, Material Shading. And then just change. You can see they all change now, which is nice. I'm going to leave these as white. But we're going to change the surface to Emission, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and hit Shift, uh, hold on Shift, and select all these letters again, or just hit B to box select over top of all of them. Hit Shift D, and then right click to cancel that movement, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to Solid Viewport Shading. Uh, go to the Text tab here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit SY to scale these back on the Y axis. Now we don't have to do this a lot, just enough so the front the, the front face is showing. Um, so that's, I think that's good. You see the where, you see the way that's cut right there, about right there. That's why we can probably even get it closer. If I zoom in there, you can see that's, that's how much of the, the edge that we are. So S Y, just cause I want to kind of make it not as long, like not as long like this. So we're just going to kind of push it together uh, like that, which is nice. Now, uh, now it's clipping as you can see. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually, we're going to do material first. So I hit this little nine button and, uh, hold, hit control L. To link all the materials because we're still we still select we have still all have them selected so I'm going to change the emission shader from white to a reddish pink and then we'll go to material tab you can see now we have that but it's glitching so we we can fix that by going to the text tab here and changing the offset value just hitting the little up arrow just once um, now you can make it thinner than this if you, than this if you want because it is kind of thick you see the outline um, it is kind of thick so you can do like 0.001 if you really want to, and make it just right up against the text. Um, but I really like the way the point zero one looks, so I'm going to do that. Now, if you select the wrong one like that and the white pops up, just keep trying until you get the right one. Just double-click it until you get it like that. There we go. And we're just going to grab all those. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Grab this one, too. And Nope, that's not it. 
And I think it's that bad. There we go. That, that bad boy. All right. Now, with the rest of this stuff going on. Oh, let me... Uh, now, you might get some, like, little artifacts like this. You see how we have a, a kind of a weird thing going on with the... With the... Um, with the, with the X here. So the reason we got this, we have this is because the, the letter X has some weird stuff when you change the offset value. So some stuff might be weird like that. What you're gonna wanna do is if you have weird letters, um, for instance, like an X, what you can do is, before you do this, unfortunately the whole point of this is that you don't have to, um, you don't have to convert these into, into meshes. So you can just change them on the fly. Like if I wanna change this to an N, and then I can change this one to an N, I can do that right now. But if you change these to, tech, to to objects and you can't do that, so unfortunately you might have to do that with this. Um, if you if you have a weird letter like this X or something, or you could just lower the uh, the offset. So just lower it down. You see, there's no more problem anymore. We we're getting a problem because this little piece right here, it kind of has a little mill piece. I wish that this text didn't have that. But just for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna turn down. Uh, we're gonna turn down the offset value for all of these. Like I said, if you weren't doing that, what you would do is you would just go ahead and grab the text object. Go up to object. Um, what's it doing? Oh yeah, uh, object uh, convert to mesh from curve meta surf text. Then you would go ahead and hit tab, uh, double tap everything to select it, and then you see you can go over here to this modifier. Oop, you can go over here to the mod this modifier out of edit mode by hitting tab. Go out of that, and then you can go to uh, decimate, and then you can just go to collapse, and then hit apply, and then you will have a, a lot less vertices. We can also right click this and go to. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we can go to vertex, and then, I'm sorry, no, hit X on your keyboard, then limit to dissolve. Now, it'll get rid of everything you don't need here, and then that should help out a lot. Um, there we go. So, you should you can do that, and that should help uh, a bunch as well. So, with all these letters, I'm going to hold down Shift and select the select the, the red. That's too pinkish. That needs to be more red. Uh, there we go. So, select the, the red one first, then the white one. Hold down Shift. Hit Control P. Set parent to object. Same thing with the rest of the letters. Red, hold down shift, white, control P, object. Red, hold down shift, white, control P, object. And the same thing for the last guy right here too, uh, which is nice. So now when we select the white, we can move these around, which is pretty cool. Now, for the main event, go ahead and hold down shift, select all of the white uh, text letters. Drag our window up a little bit like this and change this bottom half to the graph editor. I'm going to open up, open up my timeline a little bit more too. Change my frame to to zero, because pet peeve. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, I with our cursor up here. I scaling. Now you can see it just added a bunch of little keyframes over here. We're gonna open all these up just by clicking all of these open. And on the scale Z for all of these letters, I'll open up a little bit more. Scale Z for this all these letters. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little this little thing open, drag from the side, the little arrow. Go to modifiers. And on scale Z, on Z scale, I'm going to add a modifier of noise. Now, if we play this, you can see that now we have this going back and forth, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is going too fast, so I'm going to change the scale to 10 and the strength to 2. So now it's, it's, it's much smoother now, much nicer. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the letters. But instead of doing it over and over again, I'm going to this little copy button and then go to the next letter, which is the E. And then go to Z scale and hit this little paste button. Now they move together, which is not what I want, so I'll change the offset to 5. So now they're moving separately. Go to the X, Z scale, paste, and then this offset's going to be 10. And then the, finally, the last one, of course, T, paste, and then this is going to be uh, 20, I believe. Yeah. No, wait, 15. <laughs> what am I doing? <clears throat> there we go. Perfect. So now we got all these letters moving together. Now, if you want them to move not as much or slower, you can go ahead, or faster, really. You can change the scale to 50 and then change the strength to 1, which is what I'm going to do. So all these is going to be 50. And then one, now you can see they're moving slower, and they're moving not as much, which is much smoother. There we go. So that is our text effect with the kind of, with the, with the, with the fluid, like, wave-like thing, which is just the coolest thing ever. I really, really like the way this looks. And I did this with the word Touched by Kai, and it looks really cool because it's much longer. It looks better than the, just the regular text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the World tab, change the color to black, and then uh, go to the Rendered Viewport Shading. Go to the render tab here and go to color management and turn this from filmic to standard because that's a it bugs me so bad. Really, really cool stuff. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.